Um, it's really, you can add a really nice feel and mood to any kind of photo, but I'll just be showing you the basic technique of how to create this. So I'm just going to start off by opening the original file and closing down this one. Okay, so first off, your brush settings. These are the most important things you need uh, to create this effect because obviously it's all in the brush setting. So you want to start off with the size. Now that doesn't actually matter. You can have any size you want, but try to pick a soft brush. Make the hardness 0% and tick spacing and make sure that's on 500%. Now in Shape Dynamics, we want the size jitter about 100%. Minimum diameter at 100%, angle jitter about 25%, the roundness jitter about 40%, and the minimum roundness about 20%. Then on scattering, we want to scatter on both axes and we want to scatter 500%. We want the count to be 1 and we want the count jitter to be 0. Then on transfer, we want our opacity jitter to be about 50%, our flow jitter to be 100%, and then make sure smoothing as well is ticked. Now what you can do then is create a new layer. Now you can create now any size snowflake or snow that you want. Uh, we'll start with big ones first and obviously you want to make big snowdrops and small snowflakes to um, kind of give that uh, perception of depth otherwise you just won't get any. Uh, so yeah. So we want to start off first by just clicking around the image to create these large snowflakes. And obviously because of the scattering, we don't know where these are actually going to go, it's, it's, it's almost completely random. Then you want to make the brush size a lot smaller, so maybe about half. And again, just click in where you want your snow to be falling. Like that. Then even smaller, and you see as you get smaller they start to get less um, blurry looking, you get them more clear. Well, what's nice is because of the opacity jitter, you get these really kind of hard to see bits of snow, and then these really clear bits too, which look really, really nice. Um, we'll get rid of that one actually. Don't want one right on her face. Maybe like there. And um, that's basically it for the snow. And, and as you can see, it does create a really, really nice effect. Um, as for coloring, it's up to completely. It's, it's completely up to you what you choose. Uh, I use the colour lookup, it was just quick and easy. There's tons on here that look really nice. I mean, that one looks really nice too, if you want to go for kind of a magical, snowy Christmas look. But there's loads here on Photoshop that you can choose from. Um, I chose this one, this one looks really quite nice. It's more of like a fashion, almost, kind of colour. Uh, but I really like that. But yeah, it's completely up to you what kind of colours you choose. Obviously, if you're used to using colour in Photoshop, you're going to know how to like increase the blues and make it look more wintry and cold. But um, you might want to do the opposite of that and make it warmer. But you know, it's completely up to you what you choose. There's so many different effects here to create a really nice Christmas image. I hope this tutorial has helped for you create your softly falling snow. Uh, if it has, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and a like and share it on your social networks if you think anyone else will find this tutorial useful. Be sure to subscribe as I'm going to be producing more Photoshop tutorials soon and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in another video. Also, feel free to comment any questions or queries you have about this video or if you want to just say anything about this video in general. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.